So the question is about how do you consider competition in the marketplace uh, and growing through market share and maybe the market conditions that allow you to succeed in a competitive market uh, or otherwise. Uh, so I'll, um, I'll say we always understand who our competitors are and we always think about how to gain market share either through you know, different programs, but really through delivering a better value proposition. I mean, that is really what it comes down to for us. I mean, I think that you can, uh, and that's what I push for, for my organization. So we talk a lot about the value proposition, points of advantage for us and points of weakness for us. And we have to be very, very um, self-critical when it comes to those points of weakness so that you strengthen them. Uh, so that that is really how we think about it. But more than thinking about existing competition, I actually think it, I always push my teams at any rate to think beyond existing competition to who are the disruptors in your category or your business and where is that going to come from. In fact, again, we, as we were just at ADT earlier in the week, that was again some of the that we were encouraging people to think about. You know, who are the disruptors? Is it technology or is it the little guy that's going to disrupt you on service? Um, because they can just deliver a better high quality proposition. But that's, that's how we think about it. We think about it from both lenses and, and try to have, you know, um, a perspective on that. I think that, um, sometimes you have to be careful what you wish for because, uh, as you grow your business and you establish, you know, that, that this is an exciting value proposition, sometimes that even invites competition. Absolutely. Um, you know, getting back to this, this fire hose company that I mentioned before, they had this nice niche in selling fire hose to fire departments. And then over the past five years, as it turns out, these high pressure uh, fire hoses are useful in the fracking industry. And all of a sudden, there was a huge demand for their products. And all of a sudden, lots of people were interested in entering. And that was going to be, you know, uh, uh, you know, a challenge for them in selling to the, to the, to the fracking uh, side of the business. But it also had an impact on, you know, their market share and their ability to compete for the fire hose companies. Uh, and so, you know, you really have to balance that in terms of where is the competitive market going and, and who else might be, want to be in the in industry and how that interacts with growth. What, one of the challenges we had in growth was we needed an infusion of talent from some of our existing competitors and larger competitors who had already kind of been there and done that in terms of latest technology offerings. And so we really had to create people systems within Atwood Oceanics that we felt were di distinguishable and, and attractive to people who would want to join our company. So. We, uh, we offer flexibility, nimbleness, more of a consistent culture, uh, obviously reward systems that we think are, are well suited to joining a growth company. And, and really that differentiation in terms of the feel of the company uh, and what we offered uh, high powered employees, we felt really helped launch uh, our growth <laughs> initiative.